Hello everyone, this is Mike and Zoe and Zoe and today we are here for which episode is it again? <laughs> episode 9. Episode 9, daddy doesn't remember anything. What can you do? <laughs> yes, we're here for episode 9 and we promised we were gonna do some power-ups. Power-ups! Now we haven't really thought about power-ups much, have we? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. what type of power-ups should we do? Mm. I think we should have at least one that allows you to roll again. Yeah, that one will be good. So should we start with that? Yeah. Okay. Now, so in order for us to do this for now, we're just going to do something very, very, very simple. Uh, we are just going to take one of the tiles that we've got and we're going to change its uh, material, right? So let's look at the materials that we got. We're already in the materials folder. Look at the materials the folder. Materials. So you've got a tile border and tile border start, and then there's a tile uh, tile floor. So the tile floor we'll leave alone for now, but the tile border we can change. So duplicate the tile border and rename this one to tile bo bo border and let's call this one refuel or something. Sure. Refuel? Yeah, refuel. What does that mean? To put petrol back into the car again mm. to get more gas. Okay, so change the color to something very visible, yellow for now or something. It doesn't matter, right? Okay, but I need to get to the yellow. Yeah. The color picker's on the other screen, people. Oh, sorry about that, people. That's okay. We just chose... I forgot that you guys are watching. We just chose... What? Well... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that you guys were watching. Of course they were. What are you talking about? I right, said I forgot fine. that you guys were watching. <laughs> you did on this thing. All right, no, so let's go to the board. Okay, expand that and expand the tiles and click on tile zero for me. Why tile zero? Okay, so it's just start tile. I know. So f let's see what, what we've got. No, you see, we got a tile ID. That's good. But we do not have any way of identifying tiles in a special way. Mm -hmm. So I say we make our first enum. I don't know if it's our first, but we'll make an enum. It's our first. Okay, go to uh, yeah here. Uh, go to the game manager. Go outside of the class. Hit enter twice. Public, Public enum. Tile type. Tile type. No, all capitals. Oh, that's yeah, how Daddy I likes it. That's how Daddy likes enums. Tile type. Open squiggly. Enter. Enter. Close it. Okay, so. For zero, you're gonna call start equals zero. Not that comma. Good. Now for the second one, we're gonna have standard, so the normal one. Comma. And for the third one, we're gonna call this one refuel. Okay, save. Now, why don't you explain to our audience what enums are for? Enums are like for storing things. Eh? <laughs> Don't touch the microphone. It makes noise. Sorry. <laughs> enums are four. Enums are four. I'm like storing them and then you can assign them later. That means nothing. And Every variable is like that. You can make variables out of them. No, no, yes. I guess. Okay, let me try a bit better. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. So, enums um, are basically a word format or a legible format for an int. We can okay. use them as ints as well. They can be cast as int. Um, so, for instance, in this case, our start tile will be marked as start, which has a value of zero. Whatever follows that one is going to have values incrementally increased by one. Therefore, in this case, refuel is going to be a two, right? Mm -hmm. Now, it will be very uncomfortable for us as human beings to remember all of the various tiles and what they would be, right? Say, for example, we would need to go like, if tile is value 39, then it means that this is a oil slick or whatever, right? <clears throat> we can't remember all of this. So we might as well use enums. So mm -hmm. we can literally use these words, and it's very, very easy at that point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she goes like she she remembers. No, you don't. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we've got our little tile type over here, and what we're going to do inside our tile script, mm -hmm. we are going to under the ID, we're going to add a public tile type. Whoa. 
missed the Everything. tab, missed, missed, missed the backspace. Everything broke. It's just a tragedy, all of this. Tire. <clears throat> Let's see if it's there. Tile type. Okay, tile type and call this one tile type, I guess. Lowercase. Semicolon. Save. Actually, let's give it a default value. Give it equals. Tab. Dot. Standard. So by default, all of them will be standard. Mm -hmm. Right? Save. Right? But we're going to change some to be uh, different. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we got this done. So we're going to go back to Unity. And we're going to select our zeroth tile. And you see this appears as a drop-down menu, which is very handy. And for this one, we're going to choose Start. Start. So this is our start All the tile. rest of them are good. Let's apply the board here. Okay, now let's create a refuel tile or, or a series of them. Uh, so, for example, tile 18, let's find it. Where is it? It's the one where you go around the bend. It's up there, right? Just mm -hmm. before the bend. So let's change that one to refuel, right? So now it's not ideal because the model uh, is using the wrong border. Now we are going to change this later, right? So for now I'm going to do it manually, but later we're going to make it so that the tiles automatically figure out which type they are and change the material based on that. Mm -hmm. But the tile border for the refuel is this yellow over here. Sorry, I made it a little bit green, but... That's fine, it's fine. And now we got it up here, right? Now it's going to be a bit difficult for us to be lucky enough to land on it. And so yeah, changing the ma the materials of all of these manually is going to be very annoying. So we're going to we're not going to accept this, okay? We're going to okay. do it ourselves. So let's go and take a look at the tile again. Okay. So the tile has a setup which gives us the ID and gives us the various forward control points and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So now all we need to do is we also need to do something if we've got this. So first, what we need to do is we need to go and access our mesh render so we can change the material. Okay. And we need to be careful because our mesh render has two materials. So this is going to be a bit special. I don't think yeah. you've ever done this and maybe it's going to be useful for some of our listeners and watchers as well. All right, okay. so let's add a private mesh render. You can right. call it MR. Mesh render MR. First need to write mesh render. Render. MR. Semicolon. So another thing that we need is we need to store all of the materials here. So and we are gonna store them in the exact same order as our enum. Okay? This is okay. actually pretty important. So let's see what our tile stuff is here. The camera movement. Okay, start tiles, there are all of our tiles related things mm -hmm. so here we're gonna go uh you can't serialize it actually it needs to be public so public uh, pub why because the tile is gonna have to look for these so public and uh, material so only one for now material uh actually make it into an array yeah and call this one uh tile border materials Semicolon. Now copy this entire variable underneath itself. Whoa. Copy underneath itself. So there, kid, enter. And replace the word border with the word core materials. So core. But there's only one core material right now. For now, yeah. But we may have more. You never know. So let's foresee this. Yeah, you're missing the C. Or tile or materials. Tile core materials. Okay, Except save. this needs to be a capital C. Yeah, save. It doesn't matter that it's not assigned for now. We'll worry about that later. So inside the tile inside setup, right here, right here at the end, let's go and get to that mesh render. How do we do that? So, mr.getComponent. No, mr equals. Get component. Mm, also no, but ah. it's at least closer. <laughs> mr equals. Now, the problem is the mesh renderer is not on the tile object. This is the tile object, and it doesn't have a mesh renderer. Then, you need to go find. And, yes. Equals find. So, equals, no, transform.find. Transform.find. Transform. Except that says tur. 
transform dot find dot find open around open around how is the object with the mesh render called it's the model so model semicolon like this. Uh, my bad uh, quote yeah close dot get component dot get get component ah get component open this mesh render here it is close component okay now what we can do is we can uh, apply those materials but first we're going to have to create uh, an array now we may need to change that array all often or at some point so let's create a private material array private material, material array, array. Dun, dun. not print we don't want to print and call it materials so here's the issue in order for us to assign more than one material that one uh, so uh, let me take a step back now okay. originally we would have only changed the border materials right well mm -hmm. you can't it's not possible right. it's not possible if your material if your mesh renders uh, supports or uses more than one material you cannot change only one of this array mm -hmm. you need to change them all at the same time which is a little bit uncomfortable for us because we were planning on only using one floor tile but mm -hmm. you know you never know we may want to change those two uh, rather floor materials so we will uh, re we need to rebuild an array and then assign that array to the shared materials okay so we are gonna build the array wait maybe could we assign like the first core material to the same thing as before and then the other material and you change. can't do it separately you need to do it at the same time Oh, so okay. you need to create a, an array first and we have it so let's create a void 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 call void. this one assign materials open close okay and in here what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, uh, actually one more thing we need to do right here we need to initialize materials so go materials equals new material two because we have two materials right new material two semicolon save all right so now that we have the two uh let's go check by the way how it's ordered and by the way this is i've i've noticed that this isn't necessarily guaranteed it's going to be in the same order i mean i may be wrong here i'm not sure but i remember having to fiddle with these sometimes that i had to like reverse them and i'm not sure whether it was a blender problem unity problem i just accepted it was a problem and i lived with it mm -hmm. uh so we're going to try and we're going to see what we find <clears throat> so tile floor and tile border reveal okay so Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say uh, materials zero equals. So Mat the first one. Materials. No, 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 no. Materials. Oh, materials. The area. Materials. Zero. Uh, zero. Uh, e not e nine. We don't even have a ninth material there. Or a tenth. Materials zero equals. Zero equals. And you need to go to the game manager dot script. Game manager. Game manager dot script except I think I press caps lock instead dot script dot, dot I think you call the materials so start typing materials and let's see what material. we find there it is tile okay so the first one is core so you want tile core materials open a square bracket open a bracket cast as an int open cast round int you forgot to no. open the round no, let's say to bed. open round int and now you need to feed it your tile type. Tile. No, Zoe, it's a variable. Tile type. There it is. Close the square bracket, semicolon. All right. So you see the enum can be turned into a number. And our tile type in this case is standard. What will standard turn into? Standard will turn into the core one. It would, eh? wait, we're, but we're doing the core. Tile type standard. What will it turn into? What number? 
Tartar Ascended will, will be the, the one one. That's right. It will turn into one. Therefore, in that array of materials, we, the element one will be picked and assigned to our material zero. Now okay. let's do materials one, which will be our border, our border one. Yes. Materials one. Equals, equals game manager of the script dot tile floor materials or whatever you called it tile border materials I'm guessing there it is one up and same thing square bracket round bracket int close round bracket tile type close square bracket semicolon all right so now we've stored the materials into the array now we need must assign them to do that we're gonna say mr dot Shared materials. You need to put the one that's plural. Shared materials. So this one. Equals. Except that says shared. I think you didn't press tab. I'm. I tried to press tab, but I probably end up pressing this one. Shared materials. The uh, equals. Materials. Both of them. So the entire array. You need to assign the array when you do this. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Semicolon. Save. Save. So watch this. Now, uh, well, first we need to call it. Call okay. assign materials. I see. Materials. Okay. Now watch this. When you hit play, you'll see you have a yeah. Uh, my a yeah. bloody middle mouse wheel isn't working properly when I press it. So uh, you have a green tile and a yellow tile, right? Yep. Watch them all go red. Uh, actually, ah, we didn't yeah, assign them. Destruction. Rat. We Explosion. forgot to assign them. That's right. So let's like go and assign them. Is. They are here. Tile border materials. Let's do the one, our usual trick. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, let's yes, go yes. to dial floor. Now we said we need three because we got three different types and we're going to leave tile floor on each of them for now. Right? So all mm -hmm. of the three different types will use the same tile floor. Mm -hmm. So the first one is start. So we're going to use this one. Then we're going to say three. And we said number one is? Number one is the start one. Wait, no, wait, number one, we just did the start one. So now we have the standard tile order. And then? And then we refuel. got the free fuel one. Okay, now it will work. Hit play and you'll see Oi, see, Oi. I told you, the materials are now reversed. Yeah. Uh, and this one looks like it's a little bit off of the ground, by the way. Yeah, you're right. That's a good find. Let's go take a look. Since we're here, might as well fix some bugs. He goes, yes, it's well off the ground. So this one should be, well, hit F for me while the mouse is here and it'll focus on it. Isn't that neat? Okay, so 21, and it's elevated from ground by 0 0.07. So if we do this on 0, there we go. We placed it where it belongs. Now, you've noticed that the change has worked, but I'm not sure that it has worked properly. So let's see. Yeah, this one is marked as refuel. This one is marked as start. So it mm -hmm. did go green. But obviously, they went up backwards. So put border here. Well, just double click, copy, paste. Replace this with the word core. Save. So as you can see, guys, it's uh, backwards. So material zero needs to be the border and then the core, even though our our, our, our tiles here uh, show that first it's floor and then it's border. But we need to do it backwards because mm -hmm. reasons. <laughs> and now it's worked. Okay, so we can't really see the difference, but I'll, I'll demonstrate now. So I'll take tile 10. And I'll mark it as refuel. And it should turn yellow. And Tuck. it did. And it did, right? Now, why is this very, very nice for us? Well, we can do all sorts of things with this. We can change the tile type over in the game, uh, or we can uh, uh, simply test much more easily, right? Mm -hmm. Say, I want to see if the refuel tiles work. I pick all of these, right? And I turn them into a refuel type. And then I hit play. And you'll see that all of them go there. The likelihood of a car ending in, in, on one of these tiles in the first turn is very high. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. Okay. So they're refilled tiles. Now we have tile types. So now we need to check when we land on a tile. 
which is at the end of the movement. The end of the movement depends on the game, well, not really, but the game manager receives it. Receive completed move. There it is, right? Mm -hmm. Change turn is what we do. Well, we're going to do something else before changing turn, right? Which is uh, evaluate tile. How's that? Mm -hmm. So let's go and create a void. Void. Evaluate mm -hmm. final tile. Or landing tile, even better. Yeah, landing tile. Open, close. Yeah, enter, enter, close. Save. Okay, now to evaluate the landing tile, we need to stay on the same turn. We still are. So we know we know the player's active turn. Just hit Control MO. We'll be here all day, Zoe, if you unclick them. Oh, well, okay. Do it now. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so uh, go back to uh, Unity. I kind of lost my train of thought here. Unity. Do I want to go back to Unity or not? No, go back to to Unity. Visual Studio. All right, so um, expand receive completed role. I can't remember what we did with the players. There it is. So list players, list turn sequence, active player, do something. Right? Uh, so, in order to evaluate the landing tile, we need to decide what to do with it. And uh, we are therefore going to need a variable of some kind to store um, to store the type of the tile. So, let's create a tile type variable right now on the fly. Okay. Tile. Wait, I need capital this time. It's fine. It will find it. Tile type. Tile type and call it TT. T -t. Uh, go equals. Oh, yeah. Equals. And you copy all of this thing. Copy. Uh, paste it. Dot current tile. Dot tile type. Yeah, semicolon. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm sorry, I'm about to sneeze. My apologies. Oh boy. I said my apologies and I exploded. So we don't actually need this variable I just realized, but what we can do is we can do a switch right now. So do a switch here. Switch. A switch. Switch. Open round. Switch for this. Close the round. Open a squiggly. You open James turn. Save. Control MO. Expand this again. Okay, so switch now case and we're gonna do the yeah sure. Oh, yeah, not hit that. tab dot No, the only one we're interested in is refuel. So select refuel, refuel. Col colon colon enter enter break. Except I don't think I will break I will beak break semi yeah. Um. Okay, so we got refuel, and what we're gonna do here is we are instead going to start turn again, but without changing the turn. Okay. Right? So we're gonna, yeah, just um, let me see. So change turn, let's see what change turn does. It changes the active player, it says rolling is false, that will material set color as a new player. Sure, that's fine. But who says start turn? I'm not sure. It probably is. No, it's not there. Okay, copy this. Control F. Actually, they didn't even need to copy it. Yeah, Control F. Now let's see who calls start turn because I can't remember. Okay. If you press space, it starts the turn. So I think the only thing that we need to do is do rolling is false. Okay. Yeah, so including die wheel material. No, because the diamond material tells what it is right now. So simply copy this, paste it here. Yeah, and then we cannot call change turn. So what we're gonna do is let's make another case right here. Go case uh, and tile type dot start. Yeah. Open a quote colon. Enter enter break. Semicolon. And now another one. Case standard. My bad. Yeah, start typing case standard. 
tile type dot standard colon enter enter break semicolon okay so we got start and standard as cases what we're gonna do for these is uh, cut this cut change turn put it here and here for now save there's no more things to receive completed move now I know because we're gonna copy this and paste call it here, that semicolon so we evaluate the land entirely. If we're on start, we change the turn. If we're on standard, we change the turn. And if we're on refuel, we simply go back to rolling is false, which should allow us to have a second turn as the same player. So let's go ahead and test this. So we put quite a few refuel tiles over here. All right, so it's green. Hit space. Six. Okay. It's still green. Yep, green's going again. That's right. It'll probably land on another one. It's now it's still, still green. green. Yeah. <laughs> because it's evaluated the tile and it's figured out that the tile is... Um, oh boy! No, skipped no. it. And now it's yellow. <laughs> yep, See? it works. The, t the turn has changed. Yeah. And there we go. So we have we have created a basic starting tile. Rather, a basic tile does something for us, mm -hmm. right? Which is pretty cool. But we need to remove all this file now. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Anyway, we just wanted to test it. It works. Brilliant. So I'm going to turn these back to standard. All right. So that's our first power-up. Well, sort of power-up. It does something very basic, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's create another one then. Hit comma. Enter. So what should we put on this one? Hmm... So then it hmm. sends you back a bit. A bad one? Yeah. Sure, we can put a bad one. Let's put a bad one. But so let's do it by three spaces because over overtake sends you back by one. Sure. Uh, so let's say mine. <laughs> <laughs> ba -ba! Obviously. Okay, <laughs> save. Okay, so now we got mine. Now what do we need to do before we do anything else? We need to remember our um, our materials. Right, we are yes. always going to have to pay attention to this. Right, so let's go to our materials, add a fourth tile floor, add a fourth this one, and now we need to duplicate duplicate this one. Refuel. Whoa, my glasses is falling off. And since we're here, let's rename this one to standard. Met. No border needs to stay, Zoe. Come on, focus. Border. Every other every other one has border. Standard. Okay, hit enter. Now let's change it. standard, right? This, yes, you did. This refuel needs to change to mine. mine. Yes, thanks. Okay, and let's give it a different color. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really matter for now. We're going to make them much more interesting later if we care. So there we go. Purple. Purple works, right? So let's go to game manager and Put mine. It in there. there it is. Okay, so we got it ready there. Now we need to remember we need another one of these. Okay, so let's go ahead and create case tile type dot mine break semicolon. Say now one thing that I would like to see is some kind of overtake of this, right? So I think that would be cool. Now I don't remember, so basically using the same animation as overtake, right? So if you step on the mine, you go and you fly backwards. But instead of three. Yes. Now we need to figure this out. So let's see, tile T, I don't remember what this is, right? So uh, blah, 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 for player count, if list player's current tile is T, then B overtaken. Okay, so we need to call B overtaken and you see B overtaken doesn't request any... Um, anything and that's not good so let's go and take a look at our player here be overtaken there it is it doesn't request anything and it simply leads us to the player motor that also says be overtaken let's take a look at this be overtaken now be overtaken simply says start coroutine exe execute overtake and this one goes to player next tile is get tile minus one mm -hmm. all right so all of this is fine except it all assumes that you can only fall back by one point, 
Mm -hmm. Right now we're gonna change that. So here put int and call this one distance or something. Dist. Dist equals one. Now replace this minus one with dist. Minus Save. dist says now. Yeah, that's fine. Because we want to fall back by a certain dist. Right, and the mm -hmm. default dist is one. So if you don't say it, send it anything, it will assume this. Okay, so now be overtaken also requires an int dist. Okay, so int any int dist. Okay, and again give it a default value of, of one. Equals one. Save. Save. Now we may rename this function from be overtaken to something less. Uh, Specific. So let's hit Control R twice. Okay. Control R. Yeah, and let's go something like uh, take malus. Take malus. Malus. Yeah, it's the opposite of a bonus. Take oh malus malus. Uh huh. Double Control R twice. Control. Execute. Malice. I didn't know that Hit the word enter. malice existed Save. until now. Okay, feed it dist here. Dist. Mm -hmm. Save. Okay, and now we need to go to the player. Control R twice. We name this one to take malice as well. And guess what? This one is also requesting an int dist equals one. So it's, a, it's a, it looks like a bit of repetition, but it does make sense to have the motor separated from the controller. Uh, and feed it dist. Save. All uh, right. So take malus, take malus, take malus, take malus. Beautiful. Now we can feed take malus a bunch of them. Okay, which is great. So here we can say uh, list of players and we know which one, this player. So copy all of this, paste it here, go dot take malice. And you want to feed it, you said three. Mm -hmm. So put three. Minus three though. Just feed it three. The malus automatically puts a negative. Close the semi uh, the quote. Uh, the pfft. the bracket. Thanks. <laughs> and at the end, you want to change turn. Change turn. Open close round. Mm -hmm. Save. Okay, so this may be a bit dodgy because it's going to execute that move and then end the turn. So, but I think it'll be fine because all of the overtakes in the malices don't don't count as turns or anything like that so it shouldn't mm -hmm. be a problem uh all right so change turn blah, blah. that's all fine that's all fine um if you step on a mine you'll fly backwards by three boom 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 maybe we should make a little blender icon for it sure we'll do all sorts of stuff later for now it's not that important okay um okay let me think anything else that we need to do i want to check something i want to check get tile with int direction you see? Mm -hmm. So returnable tile ID plus direction. Okay. And it says if the returnable is lower than zero, then returnable is tile length minus one. That's wrong. That's wrong because this makes the assumption that the direction is a number, uh, uh, that the direction can only be a one. Mm -hmm. And we can't deal with that. We need to change this function, this formula here. Um, so let's think this through mathematically, okay? So, first of all, for reference, just take a look. How many tiles do we have? We have 62 tiles, mm -hmm. right? With the last one being 61, the first one being zero. That's why when we go below zero, we go to the last one here, right? Mm -hmm. And when we go above uh, the last one, then we go to zero, right? Mm -hmm. We can't do that anymore. Because if you get a direction of five, like a bonus of five, right? Mm -hmm. Or a malus of five, you could go well below uh, zero and it wouldn't account for it. Mm -hmm. So that's not great. So what we can do, and it's a very, very simple fix. Instead of minus one here, we can put minus direction. And let's see, let's see if that 
Dyek. Yeah, if you if you like. Anyway, direction. If I like. Well, you're sticking. You have one arm in your pants or something. No, I don't know. It's down my chair. Yeah, why is it there? Why is it not on the keyboard? <laughs> okay, done. Um, okay, direction. I save. To with one hand. All right, so let's figure this out together, right? So suppose you are here, okay? And you get a malus of three. You do one, two, three. Three. Actually, let's put us here. And you get a malus of three. One, two, three. See, we're not on 61, we're on 60. Mm -hmm. So from one, we went to 60. So mm -hmm. let's see our function, what it says here. Again, it says, we're gonna take the tile ID plus the direction, mm -hmm. okay? Oh, I, I think this is actually wrong now. Uh, the tile ID plus the direction. So let's take a look at this. We know that the direction is minus three in this case, right? Mm -hmm. Tile ID is one. Tile ID minus direction, that makes minus two, right? Mm -hmm. So returnable here says tiles.length, which is 62, minus three, where actually, <laughs> That's false. It's it's actually telling us plus three because it's minus time minus. <laughs> so we got a few problems. This is definitely wrong. Okay. So instead of minus here, we're going to need a plus because it's guaranteed negative if we end up under zero. Mm -hmm. So, but let's see if this is correct. 62 minus three. How much does that make? 62 minus three is 61. Eh? 62 minus 3 is 61. 62 minus 3 is 61. Wait. The social services are going to come and take you away. 59. <laughs> okay, thanks. 59. A little bit better, yes. <laughs> I have no idea what the social services are, but anyway. The social services are the people that say, you parents do a bad job of raising your children, we're going to take them away from you. Because my daughter cannot do a number minus 3. <laughs> Sorry, That's I got right. confused. 62 minus 3 is 59, right? 59 is not 60. Mm -hmm. We need to end at 60. So we're doing something wrong. And I know what we're doing wrong. What we're doing wrong is that we're not taking this number into account. So tile ID was 1, remember? Mm -hmm. 1 minus 3 makes? 1 minus 3 makes minus 2. Minus 2. Now what does 62 minus 2 make? 62 minus 2 is 60. That's right. And that gets us to the tile that we want. Mm -hmm. So let's copy returnable and oh, there we go. Got it. Returnable, we can do plus equals tiles dot length. Now let's think this through together again. All right. Um, Remember tiles dot length is 62. Right? Mm -hmm. So we are here. We are on tile number one. Yes. Fall back to zero. Yes. And we want to get to 1, 2, 3, 60, mm -hmm. right? So 1 minus 3 makes minus 2. Mm -hmm. Now we said that we want minus 2, whatever it currently is, plus equals. So we're going to add to that tiles.length, which is? Tiles.length, which is 61. No. Tiles.length is not 61. Tiles.length is how many tiles you have in the array. So it's? 60. No. <laughs> 60. 62. Better. So minus 2 plus 62, how much does that make? Minus 2 plus 62 mm. is 60. That's right. Plus 60. And is that the tile we want? Yes. Okay, so let's do another test. Let's say we are now on tile 2 tile and we do a two. minus 7 for tile whatever, two for reasons. Minus 7, okay, which let's... is minus 5. Right, so we get 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Mm. This one. This one. Okay, so 57. So you said you are at minus 5. Mm -hmm. Plus 62 makes? Minus 5 plus 62. Well, that is... 262 minus 5. 62 minus 5, which is 57. Correcta mundo. Correct. So we fixed that. Now let's see for forward, because we haven't fixed that yet. So here it says, if returnable is higher than tiles.length, right, what do we do? We turn the returnable to zero, okay? Mm -hmm. But that won't work if we go forward by five from here, for example. If we go yeah. forward by five from 60, we get 61, zero, one, two, two. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, 
3. So we need to end up at 3. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we said if returnable is higher than tiles.length because it depends on this one. Now, let's say we said that we were at tile 60, right? To start from and we need to add 5. So if we add 60 to 5, we get 65. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So we here say go to 0, that can't work. But if we are at 65, we said we need to be at 3. Can you get 2, 3 from 65? 2, 3 from 65. Yeah, 65 minus 3, what does it make? 65 minus 3 is 62. And does 62 remind you of something? It's the amount, it's the tiles of length. tiles of length. So what we can do is for this one, we did plus equals tiles of length. And for this one, we'll do minus equals tiles of length. So copy this entire thing. Copy the entire paste thing. Paste it right here. Pull it, paste it right Put a there. minus. Minus right save. there. And save. Okay, so let's give it another test. We're going to do with 7 again, your favorite number. <laughs> okay, so we go from 59 this time. Okay? 59. So for 7, we're going to do 60, 61, 0, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, I think. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oops, I'm wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, I'm not wrong. 4. Okay, so we, we need to end up at 4, right? From 59. Okay, so let's do our little formula. 59 plus 7 makes? 59 plus 7 is 66. Minus tiles.length. Minus tiles.length, which means by 62, which is 4. So we get the so correct we're one. correct. There we go. Done. So we have now fixed this formula to work with our new change. Mm -hmm. So that's not bad. All right, now let's give it a test. So we're going to grab all of our initial tiles except zero. I'm going to set all of these up as mines. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Okay, so when we play, press play, those should turn purple. And they Blop. are purple. I mean, oh dear, it's not very, blue is the unlucky one. Wait, it's not very distinctive, that purple, so I'm actually going to go and change it. And because we're using shared materials, this will apply on the fly and will actually be saved too. Cool. So instead of this, I'm going to put this like super light pink like this. See, much more visible now. Okay, so blue is rolling. Let's blue see what's happening. Blue is the happening. unlucky one. We rolled a nine. Bowing. Did you see that? Yeah. So it did, did the bounce and it landed three tiles backwards and it didn't repeat it, which is very nice. And it changed the turn. So let's try red now. Hopefully he does a very, 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 very low one. Yes, not bad, yeah, but three is not enough. Doink. Mm -hmm. Roll again. Let's hope this good is a very low one. Yeah, we would need a like two. Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> He clobbered them. Oh, oh boy. boy. We got a bug. We got a bug. He landed in the car. He landed into the other one. That's <laughs> it's right. It's kind of funny, though. It is kind of funny. And they, we should make the other one blow back, too. That's right. Overtaken by yet one. <laughs> Poor fella. <laughs> right? But only when it lands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so down, boom, there's, quite, there's quite a lot that we need to figure out here. <laughs> right? Uh, we need to do another one of these tests for overtake. Yeah. Yeah, and let's see who does the test for overtake. Um, also, wait a moment. No, that should work. So we definitely need to test for overtake when we take the malus. So PM take malus dist, right? Takes the malus and then the player motor plays the entire malus right here. Just like this one should test for overtake mm -hmm. at the beginning of everything. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember. Aha! Player, check for overtake. Right here. So we need to do exactly the same thing when the player current, player next tile. Aha! So on player next tile, we need to check for overtake. And we are actually going to do it in a different place. So copy that. This time we want to overtake only before we land. Okay? So right here, paste. Okay, and what does overtake do? It checks next tile, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I don't remember how check for overtake works, so let's go and take a look. I'm player. So check for overtake. If game manager overtake next tile. Okay, aha, next tile, right. Next tile. And the next tile is defined by uh, here. Mm -hmm. With this, yep, yeah, that should work, so save. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to actually test this again. I mean, if we're unlucky, no, but we'll try. 
We'll try, and it's gonna be fun. Okay, well, we'll see, kid boy. Green's the unlucky guy. It gets to go first. Oh, oh 12. boy, twelve. What a what a roll. What a roll, Mister. Too bad you're gonna get bonked. Yep. Darn. Dying. Next. Okay, met red person. Seven. Four. Bong. Next. He's got wrong rotation. Yeah, well, they all do. That's a completely separate issue. Yeah. Completely Five. separate issue. Doop. Bonk. Donk. Oh, just over. <laughs> okay, we're going to get a double overtake here, almost certainly. This is going to be fun. Oh, one, bonk, two. Bonk, bonk, donk. There you go. <laughs> it worked. Poor yellow person. <laughs> that was funny, though. I think he's pretty good. Yellow person, we're probably I think good. people are going to go, no! Well play in the game, so that's pretty good. Uh, he's safe. <gasps> oh, he almost, almost got a real fuel. fuel. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Didn't happen, but it was close. We got a nine. We'll see about nine, nine. <laughs> mister. So we managed to test it on the first go. That wasn't bad. Oi! Poor Blue hasn't even moved. <laughs> oh, so <still> close! <laughs> Come on, Blue, do something cool and then fall on them again. It's funny. Yeah, Blue, because it's really funny. Ooh, oh, 12. boy, 12, mister. I don't think so. Bong, I think it goes bonk. right over and... Bonk. Nothing. Jerrack. Okay. Green's winning like a champion. <laughs> well, Green's out of the woods, right? So... Yeah. Look at him go. Green's just going. Okay, Red. Score something cool. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, do something cool, mister, Red. That's too much. That's Donk, too much. Bonk, We won't see him again. He's out of the woods. Oh, so close so to the They're getting really, really, really close. Yellow and blue, you're it's all It's a score of four. Moo. Oh. Rubbish. That's a seven. <laughs> oh, no. Boing. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think we managed. Bonk. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, boy. Boing. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It works. Awesome. This is fun. Yeah. Wow. I'm not sure it's that fun for people who are watching, but what can you do? <laughs> All right, so now we've done a mine, and it works with the malus uh, working correctly, and the malus will work forever, by the way, which is very nice. So, um, let me think. Uh, maybe we should do one tile that just uh, gives you a bit of a boost. Mm -hmm. Something simple, just allow it, it makes you go forward by one. Mm -hmm. And we can put it in front of a mine. <laughs> <laughs> Just go for a mine. Boom! Something like that. That would be funny. It makes you go for a bite too. Something. I don't know. Mate! <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Uh, or we can start... We could do one that uh, uh, makes you lose the next turn. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that would be interesting because we would need to put some kind of... Uh, um, some kind of uh, status on the player that the player needs to miss the next turn. We don't have much time, so I think we should do the one of where you go get two. to go forward by one All right. or two. Yeah, sure. Get or to go forward by one works for me. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go. We need to give it a name that's appropriate in the enum. Um, so put a comma, hit enter, and let's call this one. Uh, Boost. Uh, no, no, no. Something sillier. Something like uh, no breaks. <laughs> <laughs> no breaks. Poor guy. He'll just go on and not stop. Yeah, save. Okay. So for no breaks, we need a new material. Duplicate. At the moment that this guy wakes up, duplicate border mine. Okay. Rename this one to no breaks. Uh huh. And let's give this one a color that is uh, cyan. We don't have cyan. yet. Cyan. Right, so no breaks. Now we need to go back. Oh, let's actually. Oh. It takes the other board's colors. So we need to do this as five. This is five. And no breaks over there. No breaks. Okay, no breaks. And let's see how we're going to do this. So here you want to add a case tile type no breaks. No breaks. But it, we're just saying Yeah, but break. you're breaking right there. <laughs> so this is a different break. You see it's spelled differently. Yeah, save. 
This is the brake that smashes things, and this is the brake that stops the vehicles. Okay, so because English is weird. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so don't say that with people on the internet. <laughs> I just did. Lol. Okay, so no brakes. Um, we need to push the car forward by one. Uh, how do we do that? So when we when we roll, right? When we get the completed roll, let's see, receive completed roll. Receive completed That's what we do. Roll. We do list players move towards by a die roll. Okay, so copy this entire thing. Paste it here. And uh, right. And list on sequence, second player move towards and one. Save. Mm -hmm. Right, so it will push us forward by one. Bang. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So that should already work. Save. Save. Now let's go here. And what we need to do now is we need to play a little bit with our board. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to put mines and, and then alternate them with. Uh, uh, with um, That's going to be fun. With no breaks. So I'm going to put no breaks on each even one. All right, there they are. So no breaks. Give it a save. Give it a save. There we go. And let's see how this goes. Okay, so you see they're alternating boing for a bit. Boing boing okay, now hit. Except here, there's extra mines. That's fine. Who cares? Hit play. So let's see what we get. We got a odd number. Give us an odd number. No, it's an even. So we end up on a mine. Dra. Boink. Bonk. And you see that that thing doesn't play forward by one. That's good. Now roll it again. Because that should only be evaluated at the end. I am afraid this may not work though. Uh, again? again! Well, at least we're going to find some funny things. <laughs> Bug. Oh no, we're not. Because... Okay, hit it again. Okay, let's hope we Come on, give us ten. an odd number. Odd number, please. Odd <laughs> No! No, seriously, mid! <laughs> give us an odd number. Don't give us none. No. Nope. Ah, mid. This guy just doesn't listen. Nope. Still, still <laughs> needed. But I don't remember if we were. I, I didn't check. Because if we we're on a blue, we want an even. So this one we want odd. And it's an even. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Okay. Odd number now. <laughs> yes. Yes, finally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, eight. Jumps back. Perfect. Works. So the trap works too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this one wants an even number. I think at least. No, my bad. An odd number. Feed an, e feed an odd number. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Boink. Yeah, works. Okay. That's it. I think we're gonna stop it for today. It's almost an hour. Yep. Cool. Bong. So, yeah. Dong. You see, with the power of enums, we can with do the loads power of, of enums. We can do loads <laughs> of cool things very simply. Uh, and uh, yeah, of course, all of these things would need effects and all sorts of stuff. For now, we're not bothered, right? If we're gonna do effects, we're gonna worry about them later. Um, and uh, yeah, so next time, perhaps we're gonna. Uh, come up with something like a tire puncture, <laughs> which forces you to stay still for one turn. And uh, yeah, that should be cool. And we can make a sound effect that goes when you get it. Uh, sure. And a boom when you get on a mine. On a mine. And maybe a touching. Like that sound we used in Fizzy Dice. I mean, Alien Shooter. And it gets, when then it gets here, boom! <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the no brakes, maybe we should actually call it oil slick or something like this. So you slide on the oil uh, and it leads you forward by one. So, yeah, that should be fun. Okay, good. We're done. Thanks very much, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.